Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to go out for a day in Brisbane and we're going to see what we can do for 50 bucks. Hi there guys, my name's Ross and recently I moved from the UK to Australia with my family to start a better life. Our channel is all about moving to Australia, assimilating into the Australian lifestyle to hopefully help and inspire you to make the move yourself. As you can hear, Aurora is currently getting ready. We had to change her trousers because she's in that weird stage where sometimes they do fit and sometimes they don't. Hi. Hello. Today we're gonna go into Brisbane. We're gonna see what we can do for 50 bucks. Although the problem is we've decided that we're gonna drive. Public transport into Brisbane isn't actually that bad. We've got a train station that's reasonably close by, but we looked at the prices and the cost of the train would be pretty much the same as the cost of the parking. And because we've got that thing, it actually makes it easier if we drive because then we can take all of our stuff. We haven't got to lug it all on the train. So 50 bucks, we're only like three seconds in and already we are down to 30 bucks. So 30 bucks for the day. Gonna be a bit tricky, gonna be a bit tight. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna have to find some free stuff, but we have got 30 bucks left, so we might as well spend it as well. Come along with us, see what we do and see if we can spend the rest or just not. As you probably guessed, Aurora has dropped a raisin down the back of her seat, which is why she won't stop talking about a raisin. <laughs> As you've also probably guessed, we've chosen to drive in today. We've taken the train into the city before, but... Oh, we're back! We're going to the park, Dad! I know, I know. We've done it before, but it's... A little bit of a pain with a toddler. So driving for us is a little bit better. As long as you pre-book the parking, it's not actually too expensive. It's really cheap as well on a weekend when the Maya Centre, where we normally park, is only eight bucks. Today it's a weekday, so it's $19, which again, doesn't really break the bank. If we'd have wanted train tickets in, yeah, Aurora is pointing at the train. Train and a bus. Wow. If we'd have wanted to take the train in, it would have cost us about just over 10 bucks each. So from a price perspective, it's actually more expensive or the same at least. From a convenience perspective, it's not really any more convenient. Over and all, for a young family, I think it's probably better sometimes to drive if you can get the parking. Otherwise, we've parked in the city before, haven't we, Matt? How much was it? It's like $30 for half an hour Yeah. if you don't pre-book. Yeah. So make sure you pre-book and it shouldn't be a problem. But by the same token, we're trying to do this day on 50 bucks. $20 just for parking is quite a big chunk. We might not be able to get so much for lunch, man. Oh, So we decided to go to Roma Street Parklands, about 10 minutes south of the CBD. From the Maya Centre where we parked, it was about a 10 minute walk. All right for this little one's little legs. The area itself is about 16 hectares of Parklands. It's absolutely massive. Perfect for this little one where all she wants to do is explore things, find something new. Everything is interesting to her, especially if she's got a bag of cookies. For an inner city park, this is absolutely massive. And on a day like today where it's sunny, but there's a few clouds, a bit of shade, it's perfect for us to just have a little walk and a wander and not really spend much money, but actually spend a good time out as a family. What do you think of the park, month? Mm, it's nice. It's quite peaceful, actually. Yeah. It's quite quiet for being like right in the city. There's lots of people walking as well. Yeah. We haven't found a park park like a kiddies park yet but this one's to try and burn out some energy so we'll try and find one of those keep walking through all the nice scenery and work up a bit of an appetite i think
So lunchtime, we've managed to find some kind of like street foodie place. It's basically where all the business people go on lunch. Gone for a PJ's Philly steak. Never actually had one of these. American street food is not really something we have in uh, the UK too much. I suppose if you live in London, perhaps more, but where we were, out in the sticks, not really so. Bloody off. Both went for an original Philly cheese steak. I've got extra sauce on mine though, Matt was boring and didn't get anything. These are like 11 bucks each. I think it's pretty decent value, considering we're in the middle of the city and everything's kind of expensive. So for about 20 bucks, we've got some shrapnel left if we want to get a drink somewhere. Mm. Might only be able to share a coffee, might only get a bottle of water. Aurora's having her lunch. Tropical juice drink. Mm. One good side, I suppose, from uh, Aurora being fussy with her food is from a day out <laughs> challenge she only wanted to spend 50 bucks then she actually kind of saves us a bit of money. What did you think of the um, Rome Street Park that's then? What did you found the park? Mm. It's a bit smaller than I thought. It's huge. The actual park there was quite small. It's definitely worth visiting. We were there for like over two hours. Yeah. yeah. Someone didn't want to leave. She's quite funny with her food. So the plan for this afternoon, we're going to have a little bit of a wander around the city. We might even go to the botanical gardens. We'll have a little wander down the river. And then after that, we're going to go up to Mount Kutha Lookout. And we're going to kind of semi-watch the sunset. It's facing the wrong direction. It's quite hard to actually get a sunset view facing west when we're here. It's been said to be one of the better places to have a look for the sunset. Look over the city, see how it goes. So here we are on the top of Mount Kutha watching the sunset, thus concluding our <laughs> challenge of 50 bucks for the day. What's your favourite bit been? We've done a lot of walking today. Yeah, I'm just a bit puffed, Yeah, we've, a bit tired out. To be honest, we haven't really seen a lot of the city, so going around in some of the big parks, some of the botanic gardens, is actually a really nice change. Mm. It just goes, kind of goes to show that in comparison to the UK, it's so much greener here, even, even winter. Like some of the trees have lost their leaves, but it's still lovely. Dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these types of videos where we go around and see how much we can spend on days out in Brisbane, make sure to let us know in the comments down below. And if you want to have a look at the rest of our journey, moving to Australia, assimilating into the Australian culture, have a look at our channel. And if that's something you're into, please consider subscribing. Until next time, see you soon.